All right, everybody, Adam here with your tip of the day. This is a little drill I like to do, especially when I don't have a lot of time. Uh, we know that the, the average golfer is gonna miss over 50% of their greens, which means they have to get up and down a lot. The only way to check is to get up and down is to try and get up and down. So I come out here to the putting green, one ball, one wedge, one putter, one hole at a time, up and down, until I can get all five of them done from the fringe. Then I move back to the rough, try and get five up and downs from the rough. If I can get that done, five up and downs from terrible lies. It might take me an hour, but the hour I spend on the range is equivalent to, equivalent to dozens of rounds on the course trying to do the same thing. Here we go. It's too easy. Two for two. Oh, she skipped. Oh, and sat. Uh oh. These are great testers though. This is exactly what we have all Saturday and Sunday. Five footers that are important. Pars, birdies, bogeys. At an outside left edge. Hopefully it doesn't break too much. Need this to go three for three. Yeah, there's three for three. And I'm telling you, I did. Three for three, heart's pumping. This drill's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yep, yeah, so. So making my making myself make these putts that, I'm, that, I, that I have out on the course all the time. So I'm three for three, I got two more to go and then I can move on to the second piece of the drill. If I miss one, got to go back to the beginning. Got to start over. Got to start over. All right. All right. And you're using your real ball. Real ball. Right. Yep, I'm cleaning the club between shots. Yep, like lining the putter up, doing my whole drill. Yep. Um, talk, to, talk to them about like what you're feeling. Like what, like right now, you're going for your fourth one in a row. Yeah, yep. Right? So like what is going on? Like are you thinking like, all right, listen, don't, don't, don't skull this over. Just anything, uh, anything in like like a six foot radius is good enough. Yeah, you know, it's a slippery one. I just hit a couple there, which they'll probably see in the background of yours. Yeah, dude, it drops off right behind that hole. So, so not only is it a tough shot, but what's going through my head is, listen, if I can get through this drill quickly, two things happen. One, it gives me confidence, and two, I get to move on to something else that might be more fun, like getting to the range sometime today. So again, it's putting the exact right amount of pressure on me. I know with this shot, if it's long, I'm dead, right? I, I, there won't, I'll have to go back to the beginning. But 
again, to get it close, you're gonna have to push it up to the edge. This is one of those great shots that comes in, um, in, in good amateur golf. Like this weekend on Monday, Memorial Day Monday, they had really tough pins right on the edge of precipices and stuff like that. You gotta be able to deal with this shot. So like I said, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to hit it. She gone. Oh, she checked up nice. Oh, baby. But still, a three foot slippery putt that if I don't make this, I gotta make it again. Oh, here we go. I want to play out of this sticky stuff and kind of chunk them out of here and see what it does. But you guys are watching Adam. Can he do it? Yeah. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He always stands over the ball. So you don't long. see a lot of fists pumping on the putting green, <laughs> but that's what a that's what a good drill should do for you. He always stands over the ball that long too, and it sucks because he makes them. So you can't even like get mad at him. Last one. Here we go. Oh, I chunked it. Roll out, roll out, roll out. Oh! Ooh. This is to be done with part one of the drill. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is the whole point of practice, is to put yourself in these situations where, <laughs> you know, you got that, you got that heart rate right. up a little bit. You kind of, you kind of right to left. get those left feels field. of, you know, pulling Again, that club three, back, three and a half pulling feet. that putter back, and I feel like I'm playing too much break. You know, <laughs> executing. Right. Take a little of the break out. Give it a little bit more speed. Can he do it? Let's first try. Oh yeah! <laughs> there we go. All right. Five and that's for five. all in one take. You, as you can see, you know we were still rolling that whole time. The trick is, though, that was the easy part. Out of the rough, gonna be a lot tougher. Well, I don't know. Do you want to film it? You want to keep no. it rolling? No, <laughs> not at all. Gonna take a little extra work for you. Yeah. But no. So that's a that's a good drill right there where like you can tell that you know Adam's taking his time. Like he said, fist pumping on the putting green. You know it's a good drill. You know when you have those we have those nerves coming. Um, you know it's very important. That's how you put yourself in those positions, dude. But in the in the time it took to do that, you could only play two holes. Yeah. Yep. And maybe gotten yeah. two up and down. You just had five chips and five putts, five up and downs. You know what I mean? Yep. Well, one you. When that, you made. that was sexy. Which is, yeah. That's how you do it? Yeah, dude. Actually, I haven't had a chip in in so long. It's very heartening. Yeah. You know? Did you just waste it? No, but my uh, my partner on Sunday had two in the same nine. Oh, like, wow. He, he was a good partner to have. Nice. Yep. So, All right. Well, that's, that's your Tuesday talk with Just the Tips. There you go. Just the Tips.